chapter, Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. And the show will begin when I blow my whistle. This will take some time. Oh, yes, he is. The race is not over till it's over. 
how you decide to run a race. But wouldn't it be better if you carried two buckets like I do? No, I don't think so, but we'll know soon enough. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. This is hanging in there. Yeah. 
really think you can win, do you? <laughs> Maybe you're right, but the race isn't over yet. Ah, you're kidding yourself. <laughs> Why aren't you supporting your champion? What's the use? It's clear he's never gonna win! Yeah, yeah but they're really discouraged. But why? Your champion still has the will to win. The hare carries two buckets while our champ carries only one. And he's low as molasses. There's no reason to get discouraged. There's still a lot of time left to this race. And above all, one must always support the home player. So cheer up, boys, and get behind him. Have you seen the crane? He seems to be supporting the tortoises. He must be trying to lift their spirits. Did you see that? The porcupine and the squirrel are rooting for us. I think it's obvious even for them who'll come out ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't listen to this. Darn it. Oh. Hold it. Admit it. You've made a mistake. What mistake? The hair has two buckets, and you have only one. Don't worry about it. It's not that important. With that attitude, you'll never win, you dummy. Hold your tongue. The race isn't over yet. Enough talking. It's time for me to go. I don't get it. Does he think he's smarter than the rest of us? You're the head of the corner of our four buckets. You're the greatest. <laughs> I'm busy. What do you want, huh? Do you know how many trips the tortoise has made? No, I have no idea. But I bet you're about to tell me, right? He's made only five. Uh-huh. And I've made nine trips with two buckets. Isn't that right? That's right. At this point, there's no doubt that you're the way. I'm in full agreement. I guess I could even take a little time off and rest. You can take as long as you like. You'll be able to erase the memory of that defeat many generations ago. You're right. You know, come to think of it, I can't understand how one of our great ancestors could have lost a race to a tortoise. <laughs> <laughs>
from the burden and shame passed on to us from centuries ago. Oh, yes, it's true. You will be famous all over the world. <laughs> all hairs everywhere. All over the globe will talk of my victory, and I'll be famous for eternity. Hooray! You'll be admired and respected greatly. They'll write stories, make movies about me. They'll dedicate songs Hooray! to you. by the tortoise. He filled his barrel to the rim first, thanks to great patience and brain power. Something you'd like to ask me there, young fella? Yes, there is. I need someone to explain to me what happened. What are you saying there, little friend? If I wasn't able to fill the barrel with water after nine trips, how was the tortoise able to do it if he only made five trips? This doesn't make any sense to me. Are you submitting an official complaint? My point is that I had two buckets, Mr. Crane, and the tortoise only had one bucket. Point well taken. You see, the bucket made by the tortoise was much bigger than your two buckets put together. It's elementary. How is that possible since we both had the same amount of material? It's simple, but it'd be much clearer with a practical demonstration. Let's try it. There you go now. Check it out. How is it possible that I only filled my barrel halfway? So, do you get the picture there? Uh, maybe it'd be better if we took a few measurements. Seeing that the height of the buckets are all the same, it's enough we measure the diameter. Let's check the diameter of the tortoise's bucket first. Okay, it has a diameter of 40. Now, let's go measure the others. The diameter of the hare's two buckets each measures 20, and what this means is the total volume of the two buckets is 200, exactly half of that of the tortoises. Guess you didn't know that if you have a limited amount of material, the volume all depends on how you make your bucket. It's a fact, it's a basic principle of geometry. Get it? Now I understand. I never thought of it that way. I thought that having two buckets would be better than one, seeing as we had the same amount of material. <laughs> the first time the hare lost because of overconfidence. Now his descendants done it again. Hope the hare has finally learned his lesson. The turtle. How is the turtle classified in the animal kingdom? The turtle is a reptile, 
belonging to the Testudines order, which includes all marine and land turtles. The turtle's body is protected by a strong bony shell. The part that covers the back is called the carapace, while the part that covers the belly is called the plastron. How many species are there, and where do they live? There are 220 known species. Turtles are found in all regions with a temperate climate, and especially in tropical and subtropical zones. How do they live? Both land and freshwater turtles are most active during the hottest hours of the day. Turtles in colder areas of Europe and North America hibernate during the winter. Turtles belonging to the Coloneoideae superfamily live exclusively in the sea and venture on land only to lay their eggs. How do they move? Land turtles are well known for the slowness with which they move. Water turtles, on the other hand, swim quite fast and can cover great distances. What do they eat? The turtle's diet depends on its habitat. Marine turtles are mainly carnivores, while land turtles prefer a vegetarian diet. How do they protect themselves? Adult turtles have a very efficient defense system. Whenever they sense danger, they withdraw into their shells. Baby turtles, on the other hand, are virtually defenseless and are an easy prey for many carnivores, including seals, many birds, and even crabs. How do they relate to people? With difficulty. Even though people keep some species as pets, humans are considered the turtles' worst enemies, not only because they like to hunt them, but also because they have irreversibly destroyed many of the turtles' favorite habitats. Can they live in the city? only in captivity, and in any case, this applies only to land and freshwater species. Well, have you all learned a lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that being overconfident sometimes makes us underestimate the competition. <laughs>